Welcome to the Surfline showroom. Let's talk about Midlinks. Midlinks is a, is a very, very interesting area of surfboard design, and I'll tell you why. Um, if you think about it, the way that surfboards have, have evolved, um, Midlinks came about as part of the shoreboard revolution. So as things progress down from longboards towards the modern shoreboard, for a very short uh, window of time, we had uh, mid-links, they're also called transition boards. Uh, really only around for, uh, you know, months, maybe a year. Uh, things move through really, really quickly. What I'm trying to say is mid-links were never really explored uh, to, their, to their fullest. And in, mod in, the modern, in modern times, I think um, the mid-length is really a rising star of surfboard design. Uh, because we're going back and we're having a look at, uh, at, at the mid-length and the thing about the mid-length is they're very, very versatile. They suit a wide range of surfers at different uh, parts of their, of their surfing um, lifestyles, um, their surfing journeys, and you can ride mid-lengths in, um, in a wide range of surf conditions. From a shaving point of view, right back from um, Long after the transition boards had gone, you know, through, and we were down to really quite short boards, um, and fiddling around and reintroducing the mid-length as the first wave walkers, um, I've always been interested in the mid-length because, from a, a shaping point of view, uh, you know, you can innovate with that length of surfboard really uh, well, and lots of different people can ride it, so you can get a like a, a, a wide range of feedback from a wide range of people in a wide range of conditions really quickly. And then you can feed that new not newfound knowledge down into shorter boards or up into longer boards. So for me, the mid-length's always been a really important area of, of my shaping um, journey. So I'd like to start with uh, a, a mid-length that we do called the Magic Carpet. And we're starting with this one because this one really is where I see one of those transition era, era boards evolving to, uh, you know, had they continue to be worked on around the world by shapers. And this one, you know, let's, let's say this is where they are evolving to now in the modern sense. So, yeah, this is the Magic Carpet. Very, very versatile surfboard. You can ride a, a, a wide range of conditions and, and, and wave types. Lots of people can have fun on this board. Um, the thing about mid links is they are a fantastic platform for creativity and freedom of expression. And, uh, you know, so I mean, you can't really get much more exciting than that as an area of surfboard design. So the Magic Carpet is commonly set up as a tri fin. They surf really well as single fins. And they uh, translate up into longer shapes, down into shorter shapes. Like I said, very versatile, kind of neutral looking. But um, in reality, when you surf them, they're very responsive, very fast, very positive, hold a nice line in the pocket. And that's the magic carpet. The next mid-length I'll show you is what a lot of people would call a mini mail. And this is the Innovator Deluxe. And it's very much a high-performance longboard compressed down into a shorter length. So this board is designed to be ridden um, kind of in a longboarding style if you like. You can get up on the nose, and you can surf it off the tail, you can trim it from the centre. Um, once again, very versatile, will suit a lot of different surfers coming from a lot of different um, surfing backgrounds. You can ride lots of different waves on a board like this. The wider tail versions are set up as trifons. The narrow uh, tail boards can easily accommodate a single fin. So that's the Innovator Deluxe. And the next one is an AP3. The AP3 is very closely related to both the earlier boards. You'll see it's got a lot less nose area than the Innovator Deluxe, uh, which kind of orientates it a little bit more to bigger waves, hollower waves. Fantastic travel board, very much a Swiss army knife type of design. You can do a lot of things with an AP3. 
and commonly set up as a trifin, can also be written as a single, and we do an AP4, which is a quad variation. The AP4s tend to have much wider tails. So that's the AP3. And if you're interested in mid-lengths, we do a lot of different shapes in the mid-length section. And if you hop on it, onto our website and have a look through, and just, you know, if you want to know more about the mid-lengths, hit the contact button or send us an email, give us a phone call, or drop into the shop and, and have a chat about it. Thank you.